Here are some of the things that I used. There's a pair of tongs, a pair of leather gloves for handling hot objects. This is the gas burner with a 45mm nozzle and the LPG tank and I've got a metal spoon just for scraping out the dross. I made this crucible of sorts from a piece of RHS just cut a section off and welded it on the end to make some feet and that works quite well. And I just stacked up some bricks, um, made a little opening at the bottom to put the gas burner in and the hole is big enough for my crucible to fit in there and I just use these bricks, nothing special but they're easy to pick up with a pair of tongs and I can seal the top of the, the forge, there's uh, plenty of ventilation holes so no worries there So here's uh, some of the aluminium that I'll be melting. I've got a bunch of cans and some offcuts of some uh, channel that was used in constructing an office, internal office at work. And just a few bits and pieces. So here it is running, uh, there's a bit of steam coming off, um, the brick's a little bit wet uh, to start with but it soon, uh, soon goes away and I'm basically just warming it up and you can see in here I've just got a few uh, little pieces of aluminium in there just to, so I can uh, see when it's up to temperature they start to melt feed in some bigger pieces. Okay, so 
we're ready to pour a, uh, a billet. I basically just I'm going to pour it into this tray. Uh, makes a nice shape that I can then uh, easily remelt when I'm ready to make something. Where is my gloves? Should have them on, but never mind. And just pour it in. I didn't show me scraping out the, the dross, but here it is. And here is the cool down billet. Um, it's a fairly rough surface, just been cooling in the air, but perfect size for reusing later on.